Okay, quick response to AJ uh, Anthony Joshua uh, confronting <laughs> his love for a university lad. Apparently, he'd been walking by after training, whatever, because you know he trains at Loughborough and that. Uh, not as good as Bath, that's my uni, but uh, hey, Loughborough ain't bad. Uh, he's walking past and they're heckling him from um, their, you know, shared kind of dormitory. Not that's probably the word, wrong word. Their shared apartment area. I imagine it's like a fleet, a uh, suite rather of rooms. Uh, that's how these things are arranged in a shared kitchen and whatnot. Um, anyway, he's getting heckled. And he goes up there. Um, <laughs> I don't know why they let him in. That's that's <laughs> the weird thing. Maybe he um, buzzed a girl that he knew in there. And was like, hey, can you let me into the, the, the suite of rooms? And, you know, gets up there. And again, surely there's another door with a lock on it. But either way, he gets in. Maybe they just wanted to film him, you know, because they felt absolutely secure that he's not going to do anything. And to be fair, he wasn't. Um, and he gives them a stern telling off. And he basically says he doesn't incriminate himself. He doesn't make a direct threat. He doesn't say to the, the dude that was heckling him that he's confronted, he doesn't say, like, you know, any, you know, I'm going to knock you out or anything. He says, you know, you need to think about what you're saying, basically. You need to think about yourself before you start heckling people because, you know, my men could come up here and run you out of the uni. Um, so he rolls with his, you know, deep mandum, I suppose you'd call it or something. Um, yeah, uh, look, if I'd been Dylan White... Uh, I don't think, um, I don't think he would have had such a happy outcome. It might have ended up with a few people splayed out on the floor, you know, in various um, <laughs> levels of consciousness. I mean, it's just typical AJ, isn't he? Just totally diplomatic that he's there reasoning with this little idiot that's heckling him. Uh, as for him ducking Tyson Fury, I mean, that's just preposterous. He tried to make the fight, and you know, Bob Arum and um, Frank Warren and Tyson Fury, they just played him, basically. Uh, and, you know, he would have fought Tyson Fury, for sure. I think he'd have rather taken that fight than Usyk, because he's not dumb. He knew that Usyk was going to be damn good. Uh, but, yeah, as for confronting these little nerds, these little idiots that heckle you when, you know, they're scrawny little, you know, five-foot-five gits, um, that all they can do, is that, yeah, social media warriors, maybe, but, you know, nothing more... And, yeah, I'm sure he talked his way in very politely to that. You know, showed a bit of skill, um, I guess. And then, yeah, he's like, you know, my, my mates can run up on you and, you know, I'll run you out of the uni and break your glass jewel. And, yeah, um, big up to AJ for doing that. But at the same time, I mean, he's always thinking about the PR, isn't he? That he does not want to be caught out threatening someone. And I guess that's sensible because, you know, these little gits, rather than fight him, they're going to run to the police, aren't they? And say, so I've been threatened by Anthony Joshua. And, you know, given the fact that he does have a criminal history, you know, drug possession, I don't believe his intent to supply, I think it was just drug possession. Um, you know, you could mess up Joshua for quite some time with that kind of accusation, especially when one of your cronies is videoing it, as was the case here. So AJ was wise not to do anything mad and actually hit the dude or anything like that um i've listened to hatman's video about it and of course he's right there's these idiots that just talk all kinds of nonsense on social media and all the rest of it you know obviously i don't have many subscribers but in terms of um videos i've had a load of responses from savannah marshall you know beats clarissa shields which I firmly believe has to do anyone I know anything about boxing. Um, and the number of morons that jump up in the comments. I haven't even, I haven't even bothered to block them. I've got better things. So I'm trying to write a thesis here. Um, yeah, pharmaceutics thesis is not a lot of... You know, I ain't got the time for messing around with that crap, uh, trying to block people. I just leave them, let them comment if they want. But the number of morons you get, um, these keyboard warriors, and... It's refreshing for someone to take direct action and actually, you know, put a bit of fear into them. Because believe me, if Joshua was there towering above me, and I'm good six foot, but, you know, he's considering more than that, considering more well chiselled than I am, you know, it's scary. And there's that little runt there sat down who's been heckling out the window. 
um, saying stuff like, oh, you duck Tyson Fury, all that rubbish. Um, yeah, he should be scared. Hopefully he is. Um, you know, it just makes you think that you got these idiots. They're there at Loughborough University considered, you know, yeah, I big up the University of Bath because that's my uni, but, you know, Loughborough is the premier um, sporting university in the UK. I think you'll know that. And you get idiots like this that heckle a professional boxer. Ugh, you know, what kind of people do they re recruit there? <laughs> That's probably the wrong word. It's not recruit, but you know what I mean. Uh, inducts into their uni. You get complete morons like this. Um, so, yeah, big up to AJ for actually having the courage to get up there and the, the nouse to somehow get in, trick his way up there, right and knowing exactly where it was, which part of the apartment it was, because that's not easy. I imagine there were several stories, uh, you know, several different um, sort of, you know, living quarters and stuff. Got his way in there somehow. And, uh, you know, probably, hopefully, put a bit of respect into that little git that insulted him. You know, Joshua is not the best boxer in the world. Not, even, not the best heavyweight. Probably the third best heavyweight. Uh, maybe the fourth. Who knows? But a little git like that insulting him when he's accomplished nothing. Come on. And he's quiet as a mouse, incidentally, during that little clip. I know it's only a small clip. Uh, and this is what you get. You get these people being emboldened because of the culture they're in. The, the moment you say anything, you get cancelled. You get uh, accused of ridiculous things. You know, the replies they get on Twitter for example, just for speaking facts and speaking truth, you know, people get triggered and they get upset. And I'm always hammered on this one that, you know, if a dude wants to mouth off at you, then we can face off. Not with weapons, just with fists. You know, whatever we have, we can do that. But you don't just insult people remotely. And I don't do that. Um, you know, it, it's it's about respect and it's about morals and it's about having self-respect as well. You know, if you are just someone that insults people remotely and aren't prepared to step up to the plate, then you're a coward. <laughs> That's what you are. Um, so, yeah, big up to AJ. But I've got to say that, though, you know, that guy and whoever else who were heckling, they're very lucky it wasn't someone like Dylan White because you don't have the PR uh, thing to care about he, you know Joshua is so much in the public eye he cannot say what he really feels and you can tell he's being really restrained being really careful with his words in that video Dylan White would have just pretty gone in there and knocked a lot of them out um you know it yeah <laughs> it was entertaining um I hope it doesn't distract Anthony Joshua I hope I'm sure there'll be a media backlash from this. He'll be called a bully. He'll, you know, why is he picky on this poor little young child? No, they need to learn respect. They need to learn respect. They need to learn the hard way. And, that, you know, that lad is lucky he got off without any physical injuries after having the audacity to heckle the former unified heavy, heavyweight champion of the world. You know, we need to put some respect on that name.